Hi, this is part 6 in loops in c .net. In this video, we will discuss write a program to reverse the given string and check whether the given string is palindrome or not. So, generally, we know about char data type. Char ch is equal to what? A. So, char is a data type which will allocate two bytes of memory to store an individual character. Similarly, we have string data type. String s is equals to abc. String is represented with double quotation. Char must be represented with single quotes. String is nothing but group of characters. So, there is no fixed memory for what? String. So, actually, string is nothing but group of characters. So, each character will occupy two bytes of memory. So, internally, string is nothing but a character array. So whenever you try to convert the string to character array, to store this ABC, it will occupy uh, two bytes for each character. So, six bytes of memory was allocated. So, now my requirement is, I want to write a program to reverse the given string. For string S is equal to, I will take some name like James. I want to reverse the James. Right? So, actually what I will do means, there is one predefined method that is available under string class that is, S dot 2 char array. There is one predefined method called 2 char, 2 char array method. This method is available under string class. So, you can call the method by using object name dot method name of. And the return type of this method is what? Char array. So, char ch is equals to s dot 2 char array of. So, what is the meaning of this? So, this 2 char array method will convert the group of characters into character array. And the string value will be stored in the character array. So, here you can see. For example, here I have declared one variable that is string. String yes, the name given for the variable is, the name given for the memory is yes, the value that is stored is James. And uh, this two char array method, it is converting the group of characters and storing in character array. So, here, here one array is created. So, how many characters are there? James, uh, five characters are there. So, here the array of size five is created. Is it clear? And the name given for this array is what? CH. And always the index of the array starts from where? 0. 0 to size minus 1. 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Is it clear? So, at the index of 0, we are storing the value J. At the index of 1, A. At the index of 2, M. Index of 3, E. Index of 4, S. Yes, James. Now, um, what is my requirement? Write a program to reverse the given string. To reverse the given string means, uh, uh, initially the string is James. I want to reverse it. So, I want to first print what? S, then E, then M, then A, then J. So, I want to rotate the loop. So, here I will take, uh, before that I will declare one more variable. String, the name I will give as reverse string. Reverse string is equals to, initial I will give null. Right. So, this is my, uh, reverse string. So, here you can take, I have taken one more variable that is reverse string. Is it clear? Now, I want to rotate the for loop. So, here you can say for int i is equal to initially i is how much? Because I want to print yes. If I want to print j first, I will start with 0. But I want to print with what? Yes. So, initially I will give i is how much? 4. Is it clear? So, number is incrementing or decrementing? Decrementing. That is 4 to 1. So, if the number is decrementing, condition is what? Greater than or equals to. Here I I greater than equals to 0. I minus minus. Is it clear? So, here you can say, here bracket open, enter, and here you can write some code. Like a reverse string. A reverse string is equals to a reverse string plus where is my s value at the index of the array so the array name is ch of index index is at i is it clear now here you can see close the bracket ch of i here close the bracket and print the reverse string console dot right line console dot right line of reverse string let us see how it is working 
So here I will take one more variable called what? I. So initially S is what? James. Now this is my CH. Right? Now reverse string is null. So initially reverse string is null. And initial I is how much? 4. Now check here. I is equals to 4. Yes, 4 greater than equals 0. Condition is true. Enter. Reverse string is what? Null. Null plus CH of 4. CH of 4 means what? Yes. So it will store in where? Reverse string. Is it clear? Now I minus minus. So I is how much? 3. Is it clear? So 3 greater than equals 0. True. Reverse string is how much? Yes. CH of 3. How much? E. So string plus carrier array. That is also string. String plus carrier is also string. So here what is the answer here? Yes. E. Is it clear? Now I minus minus. So I is how much? 2. Is it clear? 2 greater than equals 0. True. Here our string is how much? Yes. E. Plus CH of I. CH of 2. How much? M. So S E plus M. What is the answer? Yes. M. Is it clear? Now again I. I is how much? 1. Right? Now 1 greater than equals 0. True. Reverse string. Reverse string is SEM. SEM plus CH of 1 is A. So what is the answer here? SEM A. Is it clear? Now I minus minus. So I is how much? 0. Right? So here you can say 0 greater than equals 0. True. Reverse string is how much? SEM A. SEM A plus J. So here you will get S E M A J. So finally now I is how much? Minus 1. Minus 1 greater than equals 0. Condition is false. Come out of the loop and print the reverse string. Here the reverse string is S E M A J. Means reverse the gems. So you will get S E M A J. I hope you understood. So let us practically execute the program and check the output. So here I want to print both the string value and reverse string. Here you see. The given string is what? James. Reverse string is SEMAJ. Now what is palindrome? Write a program to check whether the given string is palindrome or not. Palindrome means given string is equal to what? Reverse string. Given string is equal to reverse, uh, reverse string. Then we can call that one as palindrome. For example, if I give madam, reverse it, you will get madam. Similarly, you can give malayalam, reverse it you will get Malayalam. So now I want to write a program to check whether given string is palindrome or not. So I have given madam. Madam means how many characters? M, A, D, A, M. Five characters. So I have to rotate the loop how many times? Five times. Is it clear? Means starting with what? Index number starting with 0 to size minus 1. That is 4 to 0. Same program. And here I will write the code something like if a given string is equal to what? Reverse string. Then I want to print what? Palindrome. Else I want to display a message saying that not a palindrome. Is it clear? That's a 5. So palindrome. Here the given string is, if you want you can check here. I will give the breakpoint F11. Now here yes is what? Madam. Reverse string is also what? Madam. So the given string is palindrome. So if you want to write a program to check whether the given string is palindrome or not, read the input from console. So here I will write console.write line of, here I will write enter a string. And here I will declare one string variable. String s is equals to, how to read the input from console? Console.read line. Now I want to uh, convert the string into char array. So s dot to char array. The written type of this method is what? Char array. So here you can see. So, I will store the result of the method in one char array. String ch is equals to. Now, here whenever you try to enter any string, that string will be converted into char array. Now, I want to rotate the loop. For int i is equals to what? The length of the array minus 1. So, ch dot length minus 1. There is one property called length property which will get the length of the array. Is it clear? And here I will write. Um, i greater than equals to 0 because always index of the array start from where 0 i minus minus so here i will declare something like uh, one more variable for reverse string so here string reverse string initially i will initialize null value now here 
I'll try to write reverse string is equals to uh, reverse string plus ch of i. Is it clear? And uh, finally, I want to check if uh, yes double equals to what reverse string. I want to print palindrome. Else, I want to print not a palindrome. Is it clear? Let us check the output. Here I'll go enter string. I'll go madam palindrome. Madam is palindrome. It is working. Now if I give Malayalam. Malayalam. Reverse it. You will get Malayalam only. If you get uh, John. If you enter the name as John. Reverse it. It is not a palindrome. Is it clear? So in this manner you can check uh, how to reverse the given string. I hope you understood. In the next video we will discuss about some other examples. Thank you. Have a nice day.